So if all you need to do is replace the skeg, we have a skeg replacement kit that includes a new skeg, but we also throw in a new cable just in case the cable may be damaged or maybe you've replaced the skeg a couple of times and it's gotten too short. So we, we, we uh, give you a new one there and then an end, an end crimp for the cable so that you can put a nice finish on the end of it when you're done with the project. The tool you'll, tools you'll need are a two millimeter Allen key and uh, wire cutters and crimp or it could be a set of pliers. All right, one thing we recommend is if your system doesn't look like this, we recommend that you buy the universal skeg kit. That'll make everything a whole lot easier. Um, replacing everything as well as adjusting your skeg or having to just replace your the skeg blade itself. And this is the system you're looking for. You, the chicken wing here and then a adjustment barrel that has a set screw in it. That adjustment barrel is attached to the chicken wing that goes up to the handle. This system is the easiest um, to maintain and to adjust over time. The really cool thing is once you have the universal skeg kit installed, um, replacing a broken skeg is really easy. It's as simple as reach in and you can cut the cable just in front of the crimp. So there you can see the cable's cut. Loosen up the set screw. Or just take it all the way yeah, out. that's cool. And then you can uh, actually pull the cable all the way out of the system. So we just come back here and you can see, hold on just a second there. You can see you've got the cable coming down out of uh, the cable housing through a spring and into the skeg. Now obviously this skeg isn't broken, but we're just gonna pretend like it was. And then you can actually just pull that skeg right off of a roll pin. You can see how it's got a little fish mouth there and that pushes onto a rod up inside the boat. But now you can pull that cable all the way out and that'll come right out of the, right out of the skeg. And now, so when you're ready to replace it, you can either use this existing cable and run it back through the system or use the cable that will come in your kit. All right, so you're gonna take the open end of the cable and we're gonna run it through the rudder first. Oh, sorry, skeg first. We're gonna run it through the skeg first. Pull it all the way through. And you can see there's a little stop there. Next, we're gonna put the spring on it. That just drops down on top of the rudder, and then we'll go underneath the boat. And this is all works the same with the coupe, deuce coupe, and versa board. First, we're gonna plug it onto the roll pin. Then we're gonna take the open end of the cable and put it up in the round recess. And you can look closely, you'll actually see a cable housing up in there. And that's where that cable goes. All right, so we got it into the cable housing, and he's just going to run all that slack through the housing. And then we should see it. And there it is, it's coming out here. And we can just grab that and pull it through. All right, now just make sure that set screw is loose enough that the cable will pass through. And then we'll just slide that through there. And then we can uh, set the height of the skeg by tightening up that uh, set screw. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the cable to adjust the skeg to the location that we want it. And we recommend that when you pull that up, you can kind of lift it with your hand a little bit, but pull that cable, and you want to go to about halfway of this first section. Let me pull that down just a little. So you can see there's a section there, and then there's a rib. We want to go up to about halfway in that first section, and that's where we want to set the skeg. 
Then we just uh, tighten that set screw down on the cable. Before we cut the cable, it's a good idea to cycle the skeg up and down a few times just to make sure it's not loose and it doesn't drop down or change the adjustment. You can see it's just gonna go back and forth a few times. Go one more time. And then we can make sure that our adjustment's correct and it still looks like it's at a good, good spot on the skeg. All right, and then we're just gonna cut it off at the barrel adjustment about an inch behind. And then we're gonna put the end cap on and that's just a crimp just to hold the end of the cable together. And there you go, you can see the crimp on the end of the cable, the barrel adjustment with a set screw in it, and it's attached to the chicken wing that is attached to the handle. And again, just check that skeg. You can go up and down with it, and it pulls all the way up in down and just in case you do want to adjust it if your skeg starts to relax sometimes the cable will stretch over time all you would need to do is put your pliers on here loosen that set screw and pull up any tension and that way you can adjust the height of the skeg if you need to later on